Good morning, Sneeze Guard fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to talk about Dashlane, a password manager. And uh, so I have it open here on the screen. Now uh, you can see that you have an option for passwords. You have an option for uh, secure notes. You can create notes for yourself that are secure and you can make them password protected on top of being secure. You have your personal info on the screen, any payment cards, you can add IDs, you can add receipts. You don't have to do all of them. You can use as much as you want to use. Now Dashlane is, as many password managers, is a try before you buy. So And, and it's a free version. You can use it for free, unlimited access uh, on one device. But the cool thing is that if you pay for it, if you buy a subscription to it, you can use it across as many devices as you want in as many ways as you want. So on Apple, on a phone, on a tablet, on a computer, however you want to do it. And it will manage your passwords. Uh, now, the way that it works, as you can see, uh, if you look at my progress bar on the right-hand side, you can see that I've got quite a number of passwords here. In fact, I have uh, I think a little over 400 passwords listed here. And uh, if I want to, I can see details about a given password. So if I go to uh, zax.com, for example, uh, I can see the, uh, the URL to get there, my login, and then the password would be shown here. So let's go and see how a password manager might work for us. I'm going to open up a browser here. And we can see in here, uh, with the browser open, we can, see, we can go to a website that's credentialized, uh, in this case, zax.com. And when it comes time to sign in, I'll just click on sign in. And you can see it says username, email address, password. In this case, there was only one option, so it auto-filled it. Now, not every website will auto-fill, but it auto-filled. And then, of course, you can see that uh, I am logged in uh, and I can go into my account. And I haven't had to remember the password for this website. As well, I can click on the little plugin and I can generate a password. If I needed a new password, I can tell it how long, how strong, and I can do a number of different things with it. If I go to something like Gmail, it doesn't, and I've got multiple accounts, I can say use another account and it will list all of my accounts and I just get to I just have to pick one and it will automatically log me in so you can see that with a password manager it gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of strength with a lot of different passwords and you don't have to remember any of them you just need to remember the one that opens your password manager as well you can use this online we're out of time, so you'll have to go Google how it might work in an online environment but suffice to say Everybody should be using a password manager today. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.